When you think about romance, you probably picture candlelit dinners or long walks on the beach. Well, forget all that. In the animal kingdom, finding a partner is less about poetry and more about brutal, bizarre, and sometimes fatal strategies for survival. We're about to explore the most scientifically fascinating and downright strange mating rituals on the planet. From hermaphrodites that fence with their penises to partners that literally fuse into one, these are the 10 weirdest animal mating rituals ever. Coming in at number 10 is an animal that takes showing off to a whole new and, let's be honest, disgusting level. The hippopotamus. When a male hippo wants to impress a female, he doesn't sing a song or build a nest. Nope. He performs what can only be called dung flinging. A dominant bull will back up, and while urinating and defecating at the same time, he spins his tail like a propeller, spraying his feces over the widest possible area. It's a messy, smelly statement of dominance. If a female is impressed by this display, she might signal she's ready to mate. It's a powerful, if not very pleasant, way to communicate, proving that sometimes, love really stinks. At number 9, we find a slightly less messy, but no less strange, ritual from another African giant, the giraffe. You'd think their towering necks would give them a great view for spotting a partner. But to really know if a female is ready, a male giraffe has to get very up close and personal. He'll nudge the female's rear end, basically asking her to pee for him. If she does, he tastes her urine. This isn't some weird fetish, it's a critical chemical test. By tasting her pee, the male performs the phlegm and responds curling his upper lip to send her pheromones to a special organ in his mouth. This tells him everything he needs to know about her fertility. Before they can get to it, rival males might also engage in necking, where they swing their massive necks at each other like biological wrecking balls to see who's the toughest. Flying into our number 8 spot is the mannequin, a tiny bird whose dating strategy is all about teamwork. Deep in the rainforest, male long-tailed mannequins form partnerships. You have an alpha and a beta male who work together on an elaborate, synchronized dance to wow a female. They perform a series of rapid, alternating jumps and butterfly-like flights in a perfectly choreographed routine. They might practice this routine for years, but here's the kicker. Only the alpha male actually gets to mate. So what's in it for the beta experience? He's basically an apprentice, learning the moves and building his reputation. By helping the alpha succeed, he boosts his own odds of one day taking over the top spot and finally passing on his own genes. It's the ultimate long game. At number 7, we have an infamous creature whose love life is a tightrope walk between courtship and cannibalism, the black widow spider. The male is way smaller than the female, and when he creeps onto her web, he's in constant danger of being mistaken for a meal. To avoid becoming dinner before the date even begins, he's got to make his intentions crystal clear. He does this by porking. He carefully plucks the strands of her web, sending a unique vibration that basically whispers, I'm a mate, not a meal. If his rhythm is right, she recognized the signal. While their reputation for eating their mates is a bit overblown, the danger is still very real. One wrong move, and this dance is his last. Our number six spot goes to the drone honeybee, for whom mating is both his life's purpose and a fatally explosive finale. A drone's only job is to mate with a queen. On a nuptial flight, thousands of drones chase a virgin queen high into the air. When one lucky or unlucky drone finally catches her, the act of mating is incredibly violent. His ejaculation is so powerful it can sometimes be heard as a pop. The force is so great that his reproductive organ breaks off inside the queen, which helps ensure his sperm is transferred. This catastrophic event rips his abdomen apart, 
and he spirals to the ground, dying soon after. Talk about giving your all for love. Halfway through at number 5 is the Argonaut Octopus, where the male takes giving a part of yourself to an entirely literal level. The male Argonaut is tiny, just a fraction of the female's size. For a long time, scientists weren't even sure males existed. When they were finally studied, their mating strategy was revealed to be truly bizarre. The male has a specialized, detachable arm called a hectocotylus that's full of sperm. When he finds a female, he doesn't just use it. He breaks the whole arm off and leaves it with her. That arm can actually swim on its own, making its way into the female's mantle cavity to fertilize her eggs. Having made this ultimate sacrifice, the male's journey ends shortly after. In the 19th century, these detached arms were so strange they were first misidentified as parasitic forms. Things get even more intense at number 4 with hermaphroditic sea slugs. These creatures have both male and female reproductive organs, but instead of a gentle exchange, some species engage in what's known as traumatic insemination. One particular species, Cyphopteran, takes this to a shocking extreme. They stab each other right between the eyes. When two of these slugs meet, they each try to pierce the other's forehead with a sharp, needle-like penis. They then inject fluids directly into their partner's head, near their central nervous system. Scientists think these fluids might contain hormones that manipulate the other slug, making them more likely to use the stabber's sperm. It's a brutal battle where mating involves a literal stab to the head. Sliding into our top 3 is another hermaphrodite with a mating ritual so wild it has its own famous name, penis fencing. Many marine flatworms are armed with two dagger-like penises. When two of them meet, they don't hug it out, they duel. The worms rear up and start a frantic sword fight, each trying to stab and inseminate the other while dodging attacks. The loser is the one that gets jabbed first. That individual is then forced to take on the biological burden of motherhood, spending energy to produce and carry eggs. It's a high-stakes competition where winning means you stay the father, and losing means you become the mother. The battle can last for up to an hour, which shows you just how badly each worm wants to avoid parental duties. Claiming the number to spot is the spotted hyena, an animal that flips the script on reproduction in a way that is anatomically baffling and incredibly dangerous. Hyena societies are matriarchal females are bigger, more aggressive, and totally dominant over males. But what's truly unique is their anatomy. Female spotted hyenas have a pseudopenis, which is an elongated clitoris that looks so much like the male organ that it's used for urination, mating, and even giving birth. This structure makes mating extremely difficult and physically impossible without the female's complete cooperation. Even more alarming, giving birth through this narrow canal is incredibly risky. The process is so perilous that many first-time mothers die, and a high percentage of their first-born cubs don't survive the journey. It's a system that gives females total control, but it comes at a terrifyingly high price. And finally, at number one, we travel to the pitch black abyss of the ocean to find the most bizarre mating ritual of all, the deep sea anglerfish. In this dark, empty world, finding a mate is almost impossible, so when a tiny male anglerfish finally finds a female who can be hundreds of times his size he does not let go. He bites into her body and hangs on for dear life. He releases an enzyme that dissolves his mouth and her skin, fusing them together permanently. Over time, his body withers away. He loses his eyes, fins, and most of his internal organs, until all that's left of him are his testes. He becomes a permanent, parasitic attachment, sharing her circulatory system for food while providing her with a constant supply of sperm whenever she needs it. A single female can even end up carrying multiple males. It is the ultimate act of parasitic commitment to complete surrender of oneself for the sake of reproduction, 
Earning the deep sea anglerfish our top spot for the weirdest mating ritual ever. These incredible, and often horrifying, strategies show just how far evolution will go to keep a species going. Which of these rituals did you find the most shocking? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoy exploring the weird and wonderful side of nature, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next adventure. From dung flinging hippos to fused anglerfish, the animal kingdom proves that reproduction is anything but romantic. It's a wild, competitive, and often deadly game played by the unyielding rules of survival. The next time you think about the birds and the bees, just remember it's probably a lot stranger, and a lot more brutal, than you ever imagined. Thanks for watching.